Hey, my name is Bernard. Uh, as Oscar mentioned, I'm one of the founders of Kisi, and what we do is Star Trek technology for your office. And why we do it is because we don't want to hope for Friday afternoon when we come in the office on Monday morning and feel like it's so boring. For so I was fascinated by uh, sci-fi since I was a little kid and a big fan of Night Rider and wanted to go there all the time, watch these movies. My mom was not very happy with it. Um, but yeah, that's why I studied product design and to design all these things these people had, like David Hasselhoff calling in the car with his watch and talking to it as the car comes. That's really what I wanted and how I think, how I thought the future might look like and that's what I wanted to design. Uh, now what I have in my pocket is, seems pretty boring. It's a key and a smartphone and a wallet and the most advanced thing is my smartphone it doesn't look like that advanced. But it actually can do a lot of things, although I, it didn't seem so cool in the field. Uh, it can, can control a lot of virtual things. It can let me read my emails, let me access my files, let me go on social media, do all these time-wasting things. And uh, it's kind of a second layer world that I'm living in. It's good. So what I, what, I, what I was asking myself is what about the real world? What about that Dory's button that is on the wall and I have to get up for everyone who's ringing my doorbell in, in, in the office and disturbing me at work? Why is that on my smartphone? And then I realized there's all these other things like the printer that is already online. There's an electronic access system in most offices that I can just bring online and access it through my phone. Uh, there's coffee machines that are already electronic too, so I can control these things with your smartphone that you already have in your pocket. Uh, so that's actually what we are working on. Uh, because the most powerful sensor in a whole building or device is in your pocket. Um, and that's kind of the insight that like Stripe does. And uh, what, we are, what we are imagining is uh, real things API for commercial products. So, uh, it's not like home automation where you have to buy a lot of new products and put it in your apartment and play around with it. A lot of the, the products are already electronic and you can create rules to automate it. So what if I come to my office and my coffee is already done? Uh, what if I have a meeting at 3 and I already have the printer? Uh, so I can set up all these rules to create my own little uh, spaceship and even um, automate the, the time tracking so that it, I don't have to clock in if I'm a freelancer and my payroll depends on this uh, and I really want to max out the 10 seconds. Uh, or I have a meeting and no one is there, so and I'm rushing here and no one shows up so I can cancel the meeting anyways and I don't book all these meeting rooms um, and, and reserve it for a meeting that doesn't happen. Um, or what we actually analyzed, one of our clients, um, when people show up, so in a, in a Monday afternoon, uh, you see there's a lot of people coming back after dinner. And for example, on Wednesday, you see on the, in the afternoon, there's a lot of people leaving for early drinks and come back on Thursday morning. Um, or you can control energy by how many people are in that building or in that office. So it doesn't really make sense to heat up or cool down every floor at the same time. So this space normally is empty. And who regulates that energy? And if you walk through Manhattan at night, you see all these lights on. Do they really have to be on? Does every work so, everyone work slowly? I don't know. Um, you might know better than me. Yeah. Um, so we can switch off lights and do all these things um, and analyze how space is used and actually, in, re in, in reflection of that, design how the space should be used. Because I probably see a lot of maps where people walk through more than other, th other things, and it might not be that static way the architect thought about it in the beginning. And, you know, if I would be in New York City, I would be pretty interested to see that data mapped out through the whole city so I can design in real, in real time if people move their workspace downtown and downtown gets really crowded and all that stuff so I can react. Or just really stupid things in the office, you know, someone occupies the toilet and I have to go out in the hallway and the toilet is occupied and I have to bring back a key and I go back to another place. It's kind of annoying, so I just want to see is the toilet occupied. Or if you have all these meetings in, in these big buildings, you have to stay in line 10 minutes and get the printout files, show your ID. So how old school is that? That's really 15 years old and I have a smartphone in my pocket. So we are building a future where everyone can be David Hasselhoff. Tell us. And if you're interested, just ping me and, uh, or talk to me later.